First of all, I'd like to thank you for buying our uh, 650 Yamaha V-Star uh, kit. Uh, this is kind of a strange looking motorcycle. This is our 650 uh, V-Star. It's a 2007 model, kind of halfway in between the, the bobber transition phase. So uh, yours won't look quite like this, but anyway, this is a custom model. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to turn it into a good looking bobber. So uh, pay close attention and let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, remove the rear fender from this bike. Uh, you don't have to remove the seat, but I'm going to go ahead and remove it. It might be a little easier, especially to take it off and store it. So anyway, I'll go ahead and remove this uh, nut right here. That's removed. I'll just go ahead and take that off. Take the little buddy seat off. And then there's two Allen screws here. Just go ahead and loosen those up. Take those out. And that allows you to re uh, take that seat off. It's kind of pull straight back. And then our next step is to, we're going to run over here on the other side of the bike. Okay, there's an Allen screw right here. We're going to go ahead and take that off. Take that out. That allows this side cover to come off. Just go ahead and pop that off right there. Pops into our rubber grommet there on the right side, pretty tight. I like to put the screws back in their holes, that way it's, uh, you don't lose them. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. And then, uh, we've already cut this wire ahead of time, but this connector, if you go ahead and pull the top connector out, let's unplug that. This will be basically uh, fastened to your fender, so this part of the, of the connector. So anyway, I'll go ahead and take that out. But that allows you to remove the fender, and the connector should come out with the fender. Okay, we're going to remove these two bolts. Let's see if the camera shows that. Yeah, it does. These are already loosened up, so we're going to go ahead and take these two bolts out. And then we'll take the two from the other side. And then you should be able just to lift the fender off. Just go ahead and slide it kind of out the back and watch the wires. It doesn't catch on something. You can go ahead and remove the rear fender. Real simple. Go ahead and put these bolts back, and we'll be right back. 